For CAD quiz number three, this video is going to show you how to go about um, creating the um, profile and path for the sweep operation to create the tubes. So the first thing I want to do is I want to turn on my sketches that have the center points and the circles that I want to shell. So this is the sketch for the collector, and for me, this is the sketch for the flans. Now, the one thing I'm missing from these sketches is the second circle that's going to create that profile for the tube. The tube needs to be hollow inside, and if I were to um, use one of these circles right now, it would be a solid, and I don't want that. Uh, it's creating more work. So I'm actually just going to edit my existing sketch, and I'm going to put a circle inside here, which is going to give me that hollow profile. Now, there's a few ways to dimension this, but the way I'm going to do it is just two points. I'm going to put a point here, and then I'm going to put a point here. I'm going to make sure those are vertical with the center point. And then I can just use that same thickness by dimensioning between them the given thickness of 0.078. Right, that's the thickness of the tube dictated in the drawing. So that's a really, I think, the easiest way of doing it. Now, you would also need to do them for all four, right? And that's a very easy step to do. But I'm just demonstrating this one right now. Okay, so I have my profile. Now I need to create a path. First thing you need to do is go to Preferences, go to Design, and you need to make sure that this box is clicked. Now, this isn't normally clicked by default. So make sure that that's clicked. This allows you to do 3D sketching, which makes this process much, much easier. So now when I create a sketch, it normally asks me for the planes. But now I can sketch across planes, and I can easily switch in between them, which isn't normally something that we can do. I'm going to sketch on from this point, I'm going to sketch straight out for a few inches. And then I'm going to do the same thing at the other side where I want to um, end my tube. Okay, so now I have these two lines coming straight out. And now I want to connect them. Now, one thing that you need to keep in mind is none of these tubes can intersect. So they cannot all have the same profile. You need to make sure that you're routing them around each other. For simplicity's sake on this first one, I'm just going to connect these two. So I'm just going to go right here. And do keep in mind, you can select different planes to sketch from. This is what the 3D sketching allows you to do. But I'm just going to connect these two points. And as you can see, I have an angle on this plane. And I also have an angle on this plane. This is the power of the 3D sketching ability. Now, I can't leave these um, points. I have to have a radius to connect these. The fillet tool works really well for this. I can select both of these lines. And per the directions, the minimum radius in any change of direction is 1.5 inches. And do that for all of your points where your lines inter, uh, run into each other. Uh, 1.5. And you can go larger, but that 1.5 is the minimum. Now, I'm not too worried at this point about you um, fully constraining these sketches, these 3D sketches. All your 2D ones need to be constrained, but the 3D ones, it's uh, a little bit more difficult, so I'm not asking you to do that right now. At this point, I'm ready to sweep. So I'm going to finish this sketch, open up my sweep tool. Now for my profile, it's that thickness between the two tubes. And it already found out my path, but I can easily just select my path. And you can see the result here. I can double check that it's hollow, which it is. I can see that I don't have any gaps, which that is a requirement. I can't have any gaps. And I can come to the other side and double check that it's hollow on both ends. So that is exactly how you go about creating.